isn't doing not ladies oh. and gentlemen boys and girls around the world it's time to experience the o's on the original sports podcast Hey, just coming at you live on a Sunday night. I hope you all had your Labor Day beverages all day, like uh, like we all shared. Yeah. Rasheed, yeah. he's not going to be in person for us as far as his visual. We're going to miss his pretty face tonight. Yeah. But he's going to be here to chime in like he always is. Big Chops and I had a conversation earlier. He found out everybody was doing all kinds of shit before we had the show. He, uh, he was him. getting a little nervous, but we're here. We're here. T Sis went to see his kid play lacrosse. Ended up yeah. in two different breweries. He's owned in Baltimore now. <laughs> he walks into his brewery in Baltimore, like, hey, what's up, sis? You know, Nothing. and then there's hey. me. You gotta, Go ahead, you, sis. gotta you gotta you gotta frequent them. I mean, you gotta give uh what the hell? What, huh? Spit it out. I'm she? trying. I'm trying. I, he said I was at the brewery, you know. And it was a good hey, time. Listen. You see some good people with just having a good, good, good fun, watching a little <laughs> Orioles game, some college football on there still, trying LSU to keep track of the LSU oh. USC game. Let's get that. Uh, right you know what? Right. LSU shocking me. They're showing, or excuse me, USC shocking me. USC, showing me some yeah, defense. they're up 10 7 right seven. now. Show me some seven. defense. You know what? You said Sizzle went to see his play, son play lacrosse, then found himself at a couple breweries. Like he got lost and just I, happened to wind up at a brewery. He's and now, I don't know if he said upon him. Yes, to brewery or what he did, but he didn't just find his way. I, I did. I, I put I put breweries near me, and that and it, it just it just brought me right there. Mike, you know the things you use on a beach to find like gold and shit. Yes, <laughs> I got that says I, I got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, one of them. Shit. <laughs> Man, course. I got you. I got you. Real of quick, course, I've been thinking about this. We don't don't count just like sitting at the house having a cold beer, but when when you have nothing going on, like yeah. what is your what's your go to to just kick back and relax? Mine is sitting back fishing. I love fishing. I just love going back too. on a relaxing, you know, riverbank, whatever night, quiet here to Berkshire. What do you guys do? Is it coin collecting? Is it what is it? What do you do? To stamps. I got stamps. Release your mind. Release your mind. S- stamps and Scooby Doo costumes. I mean, you know. Okay, I got you. <laughs> What's that um, about? What's that about, Barber? Scooby Doo. Hey, listen. Run, run. I had some guy popped up in my <laughs> Facebook marketplace with a Scooby Doo costume. He said, 100 bucks. I said, All right, I need to try this thing on because it's a professional model. All right, it's a professional. Like, it's not just like. You buy it at like some joint. And uh, I met the guy today. I tried it on. It fit perfect. And I yes. said, I'm do down. With it. I'm down. What am I going to do with it? I'm yes. going to run Frederick with the damn thing on. You know, I do crazy shit. Hey, don't I check your inseam on that one or what? Huh? He's 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 fitting to be an episode. He's fitting to be an episode of 2020 with John Kenyon as walking around <laughs> yeah, Maryland in a Scooby Doo outfit. Guy? I said, did, did Don Guy check your inseam on that one? Oh, uh, Don Guy Taylor. He used to check uh, the inseam. He used to check the inseam when you go to get the tux for the prom. It's like, oh, that's not the inseam, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I don't know what was going on at y'all school? Uh, yeah. yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey, Vincent, if it Vincent, if it me, uh, I have a blow up like dinosaur costume too. <laughs> Vincent and I are going to go run around Frederick one day. In those costumes, and just oh, yeah, you'll be on the news. I know he got a blow up. Uh, yeah, pause. (laughs) Come on, Shane, get on here. Uh, no, I don't know if that was possible. It was was questionable, but not possible. And a guy gave it to me for 80 bucks. How about that? Yeah, 80 bucks. He's like, How "How much you want to give me? I'm like, Uh, I'll give you 80. He's like, Okay, I'll take it. So I said to him, I said, Where do you get this? I said, You used this at Halloween. He looks at me, he says, my wife and I buy uh, storage units, and we bought a storage unit, and this was in it. So, oh. All right. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's literally like it's like it's literally like if you was gonna be a mascot for a team or something, like a good one. It, that's what it is. 
I got you. I well, did it was it hot? You I mean today was a hot day. Was it hot in there? No. No. Shit. Okay, that's good. They had, they had ventilation so you don't stink up the joint. No, no you using this shit for role playing? Like what are you doing, man? Oh, no. God. That's not a question you got to answer. No. Oh lord. No. Hey chops, back to what you said. snacks. I like <laughs> What do I do when I'm just chilling? Yeah. Um, I, I've got an addiction to disc golf. You had talked about that before. Listen, I, I got addicted to that this summer. I really, really enjoy it. I, I, I go as much as I can. When I have free time, I'm out. I play nine. I'll play 15. I'll play 18. Haven't gone more than 18 yet, though. Now, do you go – do you always go with someone? Is it you and Vincent? Or is you and a couple no. other guys? You'll go solo sometime and they'll put you with a – how does it work? It just you show up on a course and go. There's it's not like going to a regular golf course. It's free. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Most of you free. can play by your you can play by yourself just to get better. You don't need I got you. I, I got play you. all the time by myself. I actually got a uh um uh, I guess I don't know what you would call it. It'd be like a hole out back that has the chains and everything. I have one of those out back. I use it to putt. How okay, so you can only put hours on okay, that's what that is that is that your is that where your weakness is? Because you're you can throw it pretty far, whatever. So you're putting well, is, I'm finally learning the footwork to like launch that son of a bitch. I, I've been getting better at that. Um, my mid range, it depends on the day, which disc I use. Sometimes I'll use, you know, one disc and it'll just go and it, it's a good throw. It's a straight throw. Other times I'll use that same disc and it's just whacking somewhere else. But I've been watching a lot of videos, watching a lot of like, not just professionals, just like people who get on there and like give tips and stuff. And I've been trying like, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. I, I can't play regular golf. The bottom I line is you. I suck at regular golf, but I, I like being active. So this is whole body encompassing. The course is over two miles when you walk the whole course. If I just walk 15 holes, it's almost two miles. So, I, I mean, I don't know. For me, the course, the local course in my in my neighborhood is five minutes away. Oh, okay. And it's wide open. to know so. you. There's the people well, starting to know you. Nobody right. to know me. I just walk out there and whew, off I go. Oh, okay. All right. What about you, sis? Uh, what do I do for spare time? I like to cook, watch movies, <laughs> walk the dog, make fun of Shane. Uh, yeah, I don't got I don't got costumes and chains and shit like like the barber. I feel you. I feel you. you got anything for us, Shane? Yeah, man, I like that tree, man. That Cheech and Chong. Partake in the Garden of Whedon. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and, okay. And chops, chops, chops. What do you do? Chops. Mine's up. fishing, and I would. I'll drink. I never got into smoking. I don't smoke. I drink. I'll drink. You know, like I said, my vodka, whatever. And if I do, man, if I like I said, if I drink beer, as soon as I get them in, I put one in the freezer. Right? I put one in the freezer. When I take that one out. Another one goes in the freezer. So literally every I'm picking them up about every 10, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So they're ice cold. I gotta have them ice cold. If I'm taking my shots of vodka, I'm not much much for a mixed drink guy. Like I said, even if I'm drinking something, I'll go Vox, Vox vodka, Vox on the rocks with a slice of orange. Love it. Love it. What's your beer of choice? Oh, I told you I'm old school, ice cold, light. Crisp, natty light. Okay, dude, I've tried Heineken. I've tried, I've tried them all. Okay, you remember back in the day we we're famous, Jackie Merlacky. Yeah. Okay, Jackie over the years was trying. She's a family friend. Hell, family. She was trying to get me into beers. I got a buddy down here. He goes by the name of L A L E Sharpton. If a new just brewery has an opening. They call him to come and review it because his word in that has a, in that community is a lot of pull. So he was always like, "Chops, come here, man! I got beers that taste literally like apple juice. I can find you a beer to taste. I remember telling me you got to find a beer to taste like chocolate. I'm telling you, I can find you a beer that'll hook you up in your life. I, I just can't. I just can't do it. I'm strictly, like I said, ice cold natty light. I've tried them all, the name brands, the big dogs, that, and also I like the natty light because I guess it's so weak." 
I don't get bloated before I start to feel anything. You know what I mean? So yeah, and it's not heavy. So that's why I like it. But again, I, I jumped over to doing uh, seltzers because of that. Like I don't, ah. I'll pound, I'll pound a bunch of seltzers, and I never feel lousy the next day. Bloated, like uh, yes, man. that's and that's the problem with the beer. That's why I went to the Natty Light. That's why I went. Do do you? What do you drink? What's your drink, Sizzle? Uh, I usually go to an IPA. We were out, like I said, to the br- couple breweries today. I do the hot, hazy IPA, the New England IPAs. <clears throat> Try to keep it at the six. You know, they get to the sevens. Bishop then, died fried and laid to the side. A couple uh-huh. in, you get to the eights, and and then the wifey cuts me off. I, you know, the eights. All right, I'm good. And then we have to just get a couple K, uh, six packs to go. And, Schmitty, yeah. if you notice, he's not even looking at the screen. He's like his eyes. Are, we, he's it's like he's looking at him. His eyes are glazed. He looks like he's looking through an aquarium. We probably all look like fish right now to scissor. We can't even look at him. Look at him. But Joe, Joe, we, we went to the Maryland game yesterday. Me, sis, and my boy. How was it? It was a good Schmitty. time. We had a good time. Yeah, Schmitty, thanks a lot. You held out as long as you could. And then I just saw that bucket of cold water uh, thirsting down, uh, keeping keeping the beers cool. And I was ready to, I was ready to do the plunge. But – Thanks. I had a couple from your uh, tailgate there. That was that was spectacular. Thank we you so walked much, away. Schmitty. We walked away. He says to me, "Oh my God, I should have grabbed like six of those. They had every kind in there." I could have. I could have got a couple in Vincent's pockets, like you used to do to me. <laughs> hey, chops. This son of a bitch. We go to the Steeler game. We'd have a bottle of Coke and a bottle of Jack. And I'm like, he's like, we're going to tailgate. I was like, all right, what tailgate? He's like, anyone we find, we get wings and food and stuff as we walk into the stadium. We finish the Coke. I'm like, I have a, you know, half bottle Jack left. He's like, what are you doing? He goes, put it in your pocket. I go, my pocket? And I put it in the middle of my pants. They're like, okay, you guys go through. And then we had to go buy a, a big 64 Soda. ounce of Coke. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I was like, damn it, I should have inaugurated Vincent with that. Yes, yeah, man, yeah. Oh, it, no. it's, it's crazy, wild times. All right, fellas, all righty, all righty, Sue. Well, here's what we got. Smitty, I can't do it. I can't, I'm good with the hard, the liquor, like my vodkas. Don't do brown liquor, but with beer, this I, I, it gets me bloated before I start feeling any, anything. So that's why I go with an ice cold natty light. Now, before, when I was younger, Coke 45. Oh, yeah. Coke 45. liquor bull? Yeah. Well, I would do that, too, but I was more Coke 45. I was Coke 45. Hey, I got a story for you. What you got? So we were in, I think I think it was my senior year of high school. My parents decided <laughs> they were going to go visit. <laughs> we are going to go visit my, my brother in Elkins, West Virginia. And my parents would leave me behind, like, my junior, my sophomore, junior, senior year, and they'd go. And – uh my cousin Anthony lived up the street, and I said, "Hey, Duck." We, his nickname was Duck. I said, "Hey, Duck, you get me a case of beer." Yeah, and they—that's back in the day when they used to deliver that shit to your house. Yeah. So he got me a case of Schlitz Malt Liquor Bull. It was me, Eddie Lou, and I can't remember who the third person was. Eddie Lou, how's he? Okay. Oh, so Eddie Lou gets fucking trashed, trashed. Now, for those people, moving know, his ass, Eddie Lou. Eddie Lou was like three bucks in, in like 10th grade. Yeah, he's a big boy. He was yeah. Like three bucks in 10th grade. He got trashed, puked, passed out. We put an apple with his mouth. He's laying face up. We put an apple with his mouth like he looked like we were going to roast his ass. Uh, <laughs> took pictures. Um, oh. I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know how to. I, what, what am I going to do? I got to clean that shit up, you know? Oh. So I got out the vacuum cleaner. I got out the vacuum cleaner and cleaned oh. that shit up in my mother's red shag rug. Oh. Yeah. So it gets better. About, I don't know, maybe a week later, my mom's there <clears throat> running the vacuum. Oh, man, did that stink. I said, Mom, what, what, what's in that bag? It smells when you run that. That's really bad. I don't know, Mark. Would it, would I, I better change that bag. You know, she oh. didn't know. God rest her soul. She, yeah. My Aunt Lil lived next door, you know. She used to see when I had shit going on over there, parties and shit. This one yes. time, John Simlick. Did you know John Simlick? Yeah. Yeah, so Simlick, he comes to my house. My parents are away, visiting my brother again in West Virginia. He comes to the house. He's got a quarter keg strapped on his back. <laughs> I had a blowout, man. It was crazy. The next day, my Aunt Lil says, how was your party, Mark? Because that's the way she used to do it. I'm like, oh, Aunt Lil, please don't say nothing. 
don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Man, and I was because of my dad, I wouldn't I never had. If I had to get together, it might be one or two people. And that was about it that I'd have over because I couldn't have a party because if it got out of hand, something got ruined. My dad was going to destroy. Let's put it this way, fellas. My senior year of high school, I worked at Kmart real quick before we get into it. Get into it. I worked at Kmart. Guys, come. This is when deck hockey was big, right? Yeah, yeah. Guys, call me. Like they said, "Yo, last it's 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 going in last period. Yo, we're going to play deck hockey. We're we're going to play deck hockey. You want to go? Yeah. Don't have a shirt. Don't have shirt. Don't have anything." So I run up to Kmart where I work, right? Now, mind you, it's on a Friday. It is payday. And they paid me in cash back then. Go in. I steal a T-shirt. Well, <laughs> I took it. I took a T-shirt and a pair of sweats. Put it in my bag. Go to walk out. On payday, they paid me in cash. Got caught in the back office. They say, well, you're, you know, you're fired. We can call the police or call your parents. I said, call, my, call the police. They're like, Michael, you could sit in jail until your court date. As sure as I'm looking at you guys, I was like, listen, call the police. Do not call my dad because I'm telling you, jail will be a day camp compared to what my dad is going to do to me. I'm telling you now. I told and when they said, well, let's we'll just call his parents. His number's on his like application when I worked there. I When I tell you I showed my ass, don't call my dad, call the police. What well, I ended up calling him, I was like, do not call my dad. I do. <laughs> Woo, I knew. I knew it was not going to be good. Uh, I remember that. All right, fellas. So, yo, you know what it is. You know that smells in the air, baby. Oh, it's sweet, too. Ah. Oh, it's sweet. College ten, ten. College ten, ten halftime right now, by the way. USC, LSU. Okay, I'm watching. And LSU, like I said, USC has impressed me so far in the first half with that defense. All right, yeah. fellas. So, now we've seen everybody's played. We've seen everybody off the rip. I know it's not four, five, six good weeks in, but in college, every game counts. Not like the NFL where you can give some away. So yeah. who, after this first week of seeing everybody, who impressed you? What team, not player, what team impressed you? You want me to hit it first? What you got? What you got? Yeah, hit up, Gene. What Definitely the Hurricanes. Uh, you know, they get the new quarterback, Cam Wright. From, uh, he came from Washington State. Uh, he looked Cam good. Ward, Cam Ward, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jeez, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, my fault. Yeah. He looked real good yesterday. Uh, the defense looked like the old defense. Uh, the skill Bounce. guys looked like the old skill. It, it looked like the U. You know what I mean? You know, the, with, with these these transfer portal, you know, it, is it like, is it going to be the U again this year and then be back to, you know, stir frat crap the following year once he leaves? I, I, you know, I hope that doesn't happen, but that's who I'm going with, the U, baby. I'm going to run with Notre Dame. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to run with Notre Ooh. Dame. They they played uh, they played a good team first game. Yes. They didn't yes. play somebody they could walk yep. all over and right. they won that game. I they played you. well. That defense is very, very aggressive. They were at the ball all the time. Yeah, I enjoyed watching that game. Like I, th I thought they played good. I actually thought they could have scored a hell of a lot more points than they did. Um, I think Riley Leonard's okay. He wasn't as good as he was at Duke, but he's I, playing. Man, that was you. You on point with that one, Mark. I yeah. thought he was going to light it up. You right? Yep, but go ahead. I'm sorry I. to cut you. I'm sorry. No, no, you could. Um, I, I just think at the end of the day, Sheen, I think that once he gets comfortable in that offense, because he can run the football too, um, I think that that offense might might be putting up 25, 30 a game. You know, and that's okay. big for Notre Dame with that. Yes, defense. it is. It with definitely that defense, is. they were aggressive. And, and you know what? Who you got, Sizzles? Um, <clears throat> I was going to say just the game. It was a, I thought it was a good game, but unexpected. I, I was surprised that Georgia Tech took over Florida State number 10. I thought, you know, uh, they, what they, they wanted on the last second field goal and – I didn't. I didn't think it was going to come down to that. I thought Florida State would have showed up better, but then, and then I thought about it. They lost so many guys <clears throat> uh, to the portal last year, or and they bear, They didn't even make the playoffs, and they were all jacked about that. But um, I thought that they would have had a better showing. So I thought that game was to kick off the college season. That was that was that last 
Thursday or Friday? Last Saturday, Saturday wasn't it? Last Saturday, when because they were in Ireland. They oh yeah, yeah. Ireland. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. And, I got you. I got you, and, Phyllis. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with you, Mark, with Notre Dame. But here's why. First off, I didn't know that before every home game, every home game. Texas A&M at Kyle Field has cheer practice for the student yeah. section. And they said about twenty to 25,000 students show up okay. every night before the game and they go over to cheers and practice. It's like Midnight Madness. Yes. So it, it is. So yeah. I was impressed with Notre Dame in a hostile environment. Yes. It was. It was, go- it, it was rough. And they didn't falter. They fought. And I didn't, fellas. I really thought, especially when they got tied up. I thought Texas A&M was going to get some breaks, and I thought they were going to end up pulling it out. I am a Freeman fan. I like him. Me too. Well, that, I've always been a Notre Dame guy. My dad was a Notre Dame guy. Yeah. Other, other, than, other than tonight's game, LSU 13, USC 23, that was the only other game, I think, this week where there were two top 20 teams that played against each other, seven Notre Dame and 20 Texas A&M. Everyone else that was ranked played a non-ranked team. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When I saw so, – was it Alabama that tattooed somebody with 72? Yeah, I can't remember. They have – Alabama, no. Alabama won 70, 63-0. Ole Miss won 76-0 against Furman. Yeah. Not to be confused <laughs> with Kevin Fairman. This is Furman. <laughs> this is <laughs> Furman. Hey, yes. Furman, wait a minute. Furman, isn't that where uh, – uh, uh, Bill Cosby's uh, son-in-law went to school at, or his older daughter. I, don't know. Or something? I think that's what we're going to start calling no, you, Furman, wearing that, that Scooby Doo costume. Who talk, talking about Alvin? Yeah, Alvin didn't go to. He went to Princeton. Okay, okay. Him and the daughter went to Princeton. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you're, you're right. You're right, Schmidt. Clemson and Georgia was ranked too. I forgot. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. So sticking, <laughs> sticking with that. Who impressed you? Who disappointed you? Well, I do like this comment by Schmitty, and then we're going to go to one by by uh, Gregory Bishop. Gene okay. Hardy. Gene Bishop, who played linebacker for me at the Mill. Um, I, I, I was like, did you see that? The whole thing that led to Saban's statement cracked me up, though. Like, he's sitting there like this, and, and uh, what's his name? McAfee's sitting there. He's getting his groove on at WVU. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they're like, what? fuck did I get into? I, that cracked me <laughs> up. I was dying. But um, no. I didn't, I, catch I, the, I didn't catch the payroll statement. Go ahead. Someone give me the p- statement, please. He said, he said teams are paying paying 20 million bucks for their NIL guys. And he said, if you don't sign the right guys, you're shit out of luck, basically. Yeah. Is what he said. Yeah. It, uh, it, yeah. it was. I yeah. agree with that. Well, well, yeah, but that goes back to remember, we were all going back and forth. In a text thread about what make and constitutes a team and what doesn't, fellas, these guys don't have. That's why I don't think college basketball, in a lot of ways, is as good as it used to be. Because a lot of guys are one and done; they're going to the G League. Guys aren't staying long enough to actually build a team and play right. like a team. Yeah. So you're right, man. If you don't sign the right guy, you're signing a hell of a talent, but you don't have the quarterback that can make that look to his receiver and no, cut it short. Do this, do that. You don't. You don't have the safety who can look at his corner, and be like, "Let's switch linebacker." You don't have that. You know what I mean? Guys that just know each other and know where they're gonna be. So he's right on that aspect. But you see a lot of cats, man. Like, well, Saban was the biggest one, and we think he really got out of it because of the NIL money, right? Yeah, exactly. I don't understand how guys in schools and boosters are paying guys that haven't proven a thing yet. But hey, if you can get the bag, as they say, get the bag. But it does bother me when coaches get mad with this NIL money or the portal because yeah. guys have some power. Because when they didn't and the coach had all power, everything was straight. Everything was great. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm, exactly. I'm not an issue with that. I just understand how guys are getting paid this big time money and they haven't done anything yet. I'm waiting for someone to step up and talk about how they were getting paid before NIL became ah. part of it. And I mean, really step up. Yes. I mean, I, I want to hear it. something. With it. Say, well, Coach Saban, you know, blah, 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 blah. I, I know that shit's going. Why do you think Dabo is taking a slide back with that Clemson? Exactly. You know they were slicking guys up. It's exactly. not. It's not make believe. We're seeing it in front of our eyes. Kirby Talk about Smart, it. Yeah, Kirby Smart's the only guy right now who's living living when he talked. You know, he's, he's Georgia's still Georgia. They, they ain't changing. 
Ain't well, it. don't forget though, for the, for quite a few years, even before the NIL was in there, Georgia was leading. They were spending more money than anybody else in recruiting. In regards, if that's the game, what it is now, NIL spending money recruiting, you got to do what you got to do. But like as we were talking, who, who, what team disappointed you? Uh there's Colorado. A, I, I was gonna say yeah. Colorado. I agree with you, Shane. I the also defense think is porous. Yeah, I mean. They had to play at North Dakota State and like come back in the last dri- well, driver. Well, I so. mean, no, hold, hold. let's not take nothing away from North Dakota State now. Let's no, I agree, Shane. Exactly, exactly. But but, but it, it should have. Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. It should have been a little easier to at least stop the run, G. Money. Right, and I think I think Clemson <laughs> could. I did I expect Clemson to win? No, but I thought they would have put it a better fight than thirty-four to three. Well, oh, here, here's no. my thing. Here, here, yeah. Here, here's my thing, real quick, and I want to get to what Bishop, what Bishop is stating there. But fellas, the fact that Colorado is an unranked team, it's primes only his second year. North Dakota State that rolls. I understand they're not top division one, but they're rolling. We expected more from him. Are we mm-hmm. putting undue pressure on Sanders in Colorado? Are we expecting no. because he said, dude, hold on for a second. It's his second year, and they're an unranked team, and we expect him to come in and win his conference. We've never done that with another team. And let's not forget, he took over a team that was 1-11. and He didn't take over a University of Georgia team like Kirby Smart did. It was 9-3 and three and coming off a major bowl win. So I just think – and it, 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 uh, now they're also the team that disappointed me the most because, okay, we need to do this, and well, let's look it up for next season or for next pod. When is the last time? We expected a coach in his second season taking over a team that was one and eleven to do something. That okay, team here's was one and eleven before he so got. We can look that up. We can research it. I'm yeah. fine with that. I, I'm good with that. It's Probably the never. way, in my opinion, it's the way he did it. It's the way he did it. He didn't come in there with a strategic plan saying, "Okay, I'm going to build this program. I'm going to play this out. I'm going to develop these guys. I got." I'm going to get rid of a few of them because they aren't going to fit into me. But for two consecutive years, he pushed everybody out the damn door. Mark, that, they that were one a, in 11, and none of those guys signed at another major university. But that, that was about was, him. Nobody though. wanted it them. It doesn't matter. There were guys on that team. Nobody wanted them, even when Dion didn't want them. If I tell my wife, if I tell my wife she divorces me, and I say, hell, I can find another one of you, and four years later, I'm still single with no prospects, I wasn't that damn good. Colorado was 1-11, and and nobody took any of his guys. That, to me, speaks more of what I'm It'd be different if yeah. – that that it, I always say I get on Tomlin because they said Doxon was tor- horrible. Doxon goes to L.A. and now he's one of the top paid linemen doing work. That means Steelers didn't know what to do with him. But all his guys were one and eleven. Do you realize when Dion won four games, that was more than the last two or three coaches combined, or last three seasons combined? That's the only thing that bothers me. And now we say we hate the way he did it. Well, I've been listen. saying that since the beginning. So yeah, you could. You could say that people yeah, he, are saying that now, but I've been yeah. somebody who's yes. been on that. He board has. He, no, you him. have. And I, he think, has. I think he, what he did is just bullshit. I tell him right to his face, it's bullshit. If you're that cool of a coach, coach up the fucking guys that are there. And make that's not fair, dog. They don't want to play guys the nobody else wanted. What you're, what you're saying is you're asking him to play cards with a stacked deck and wonder why he can't win. It'd be different if half of those guys left and went to other major schools and are at least playing some. They're not anywhere. You 100% none of those guys are at any other major school. Sure, I know. the la- there was, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Remember, there, there was that one cornerback who yes. he was like a four or five star recruit. And he on it, he's like, I don't like the way Prime is going. So he left, went to another school and got cut. And his high school coach said, We've been telling him since he's a sophomore, he's had an attitude problem. But I can't he remember. To, his name. I think he went to Florida. I know you're talking about. I think it's he did Florida. go to Florida. Florida, one of the Florida, yeah, schools. Like Central Florida, somewhere like that. South yeah. Florida. I, I, I hear thing you. is, my thing is, uh, with Dion is, uh, when you say that though, Mark, it's, it's it. You gotta get rid of people. It's a business. It's just it's what it is. It's it not did, a business. It, it did, sure it is. Well, hold on. Oh, hold it on. definitely hold is. On. There was times I, when there were times when coach would say the coaches would say, "There's no practice tomorrow, but you better be here." Like, yes. what's that? Yeah. What the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. That? What, excuse me, but what does that? I had to ask the upperclassmen what that meant. 
They just said you better be here. Yeah. It's a business, man. It's Here, just, here's my thing. It's a business. When Lincoln Riley, he didn't verbally say it, but Lincoln Riley, when he left Oklahoma, he went to USC, took Caleb Williams. That starting quarterback was gone. You already knew I'm bringing my guy. He never caught any flack for that. Not anything. Yes, but because – no, no, he – no, hell no. There's they, no way. They can't he, do anything in the NCAA. But the, what I'm saying is – Fans didn't, no, no. Fans didn't come down on Riley the way they came down on Dean. He did the same thing. He did the same thing. Took That's because Riley didn't go to Southern California and talk about how Brady was. So, so here's the thing: you don't hate what he did. You he hate the great. message. You don't hate what he did. You hate the the message. Because my thing is, end of the day, he is great. He, no, then, he hates the messenger. He, then there you then you can no, say I that. I hate the messenger. I, I wouldn't like there. any guy that goes in and does what he did. Not and the crazy part about it, it is, that's Deion, and Deion Sanders set up a fund, a trust fund for all of his players who have kids. He is doing things, and he's brought true money to that field, and that's what bothers me to that to that stadium and that to that town. People are getting cut off. He told those guys he didn't want them. You were one in freaking eleven, and nobody else went anywhere. That's what I don't get. That that that's what's bothering he struggled me. Struggled to field a roster this year. He got the, the over whole, 55 guys, Mikey. I get that. And now, hold guys. on. And, and now that goes to the question is, let's not forget, even if it when it was JSU and he had a chance to win a, a championship there at that point, whatever, in that ball game, he sat his own son because he missed a meeting. You can say whatever you want. Sanders players don't get in trouble off the field. They are disciplined players. So I would ask you this. Are guys not going there because they realize – First off, all his staff is made either college players or, or pro players or had pro that he realized we can't get away with what we can other places. Kirby Smart has had five guys arrested for DUIs this offseason. Yep, 100%. Imagine? I'm with you there. If Dion Good had talking. that, I mean, it, it just it, it is what it is. But real okay, quick. So here's, here's, what I think, here's what I think, Mikey. He doesn't know X's and O's. But no, we know he does. Defense. We know he, he does. He's won everywhere. IMG coach. at Jackson. He's won everywhere he's went. He had more Listen, wins last year than any other coach. He is a character coach, and he comes in there to bring guys that he can develop into men. And I get that, and I appreciate that, and I think that's an awesome characteristic. But like Rasheen said, if it's a business at the college level, you better surround yourself with guys that can coach up the people you have. And not get rid of fifty-five guys in two years. And it, but he, you got to stop going to that because he got rid of guys nobody yeah. wanted. But right. here's the, here's the thing: somebody wanted them back in the day. What's they that? Colorado instead of other teams. Nobody wanted to win with the Colorado. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. The problem with that is so that then that now that takes us to the rating system. And there's too many there's too many guys like that who are ranked fours and fives who who do nothing. That takes well, let's put it this way. The fours and fives that went to Colorado proved they weren't fours and fives. The fours and fives that are going to Georgia, true, they're true four and fives, is all, is all I know. Or they're getting coached up based on their ability. Yeah. How do we know? that? Well, first off, Dion has no. His guys are way too small. I put that on Facebook. All his guys. He has no hams on there. And also, as you say, he's teaching character. Character is a no, four he's letter. developing character. He's trying to he's develop. He's, character. he's trying to develop character. Character is a four-letter word to these college athletes. We just watched in the first half where Lacey cost his guy seven when he catches a touchdown and he acts like he starts shooting a gun at his opponents. Not only did it cost him 15, he goes on the sideline, gets a ear beaten basically from the coach or getting talked to, turns around and does it the exact same thing. Well, he did he's the Randall Hill? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what? You know what? Deal with character, awesome. character add up the four letters. I'm still trying. I, you know, I was at the brewery tonight. <laughs> it's a I'm bad word to those guys. We don't hey, want characters. Talks. It's a bad you know what? Deal would have done with that. Deal would have told that dude to take his helmet off and go sit down. Yes, he just like Singletary. On the field. Like Singletary. That's all about <clears> character. That's He's trying to. There. Just like Mark, you sent us the thing today, and I wish you to put it on, fate on, on our some of our social medias. Right. The the top what was it? The top ten commandments for an athlete. Yeah. Those are for athletes your children's ages because a lot of these college players and definitely pro players are not going by those. Come up with an ad to be coachable. No, bro, they don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't care about that. That's they, a they big don't problem. Being, being coachable is a huge problem. Yes, Bishop had said it. 
guys in the in the NIL are making more. I think Ewers for Texas is making more than Purdy too. I yeah, believe he is. He is. Yeah, so he is. Yeah. having said that, he was making more when he went to Ohio State. Yes, when he came out of yes. college. Wait, excuse me. When he Howard. came out of high school, halfway through his senior year, he yes. was making more than Purdy. Was That's why I beg the pardon. Why would Marvin Harrison Jr. come out and he's making more? I don't understand why guys do that. They I offered him twenty million. Yeah, 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 and they I, I don't understand. For him, a twenty million dollars. Why, yeah. why come out? I mean, well, here's the thing. They said that new guy Smith, that wide receiver, the young cat Smith for OSU. They said he is right now as a true freshman. Multiple guys have said this on media on wax. He is the best, the best wide receiver to ever walk the halls at Ohio State. Do you realize you're you're telling me to oh. exactly? Sizzle, I, they said it before he played one game. I said, I wow. found out how to leave. Ohio State's like wide receiver, you? I mean, yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let me ask you this real quick, because we won't get into everything, but I, I, I want to I know this. I thought this is an interesting comment. Check it out. Uh, Greg said, uh, the ranking system is rigged. You get stars for going to camps, not their play. Bishop, you know? I, what did I say that? Last week or two weeks ago, they shouldn't start ranking until after the fourth or fifth game. I they should start, not start ranking until after the fourth or fifth game. We've seen everybody play. Students. How many With guys that, are playing in the NFL that were that were unranked or had a one or a two star? Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, exactly. seriously. Like, that's just thing is, Guys can go undrafted and end up having success, successful careers. You well, figure, fellas, we look at these guys when we have time and we're not at work. These execs from the NFL, that's all they do, and you're still missing. You can pay me to sit on my ass and miss on, on – players and prospects. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Let's not get into that. Yeah, uh, I know, because I get ticked. Clemson oh, lost Lord. by 31. We're talking, fellas. Clemson lost by 31. Whew. Was that first, was my biggest disappointment. Actually. First half, first half, it was close. Then you saw Georgia just too much meat up front, just better athletes, just whatever. I'm not even saying better coach, just better athletes. Dabo does not like the portal. He lets it be known he does not like the portal. He tells guys, if you commit to me when you're in high school, if you even take another visit to anywhere else, I'll pull your scholarship. Do you see with that mindset, do you see Dabo being able to compete with if he continues to ignore the portal? Can he compete with the OSUs, the Bamas, and the Georgias? Michigan? No, his AD is going to sit him down after the year, after they have a 500 season, and tell him that – I'll tell you where Dabo went wrong when he stuck with DJ Ugalele. His, his oh, you guys hate my boy. He's terrible, man. Stop stuck it. with that dude. That dude's been to four or five schools since he was at Clemson. Four schools since he's been at Clemson. He is not a legit Division One quarterback. Fellas, real, real quick, and I'm not even going to argue with you because I, I can't. I mean, I he, he's his play is not backing up any me for for me to stand or anything. But fellas, have you noticed? And please start noticing every week. How many players and quarterbacks, especially, how this is their second or third, third or fourth school? Oh, yes. No doubt, everyone. That's what I said. That's what I said earlier. I hate. For, then you like you know you you'll have a good season with this kid. Then he's gone to the league, and then you are back to stinking. Like, I'm not even talking about going to the league. I'm talking about guys that are on their third or fourth team in the transfer portal. Here's yeah. my thing. Some people say they should limit the portal. I don't think you should let kids go wherever they want. My problem is with the coaches. If this kid is jumping to you would be his third or fourth team to let you know he's already sold out. He's going to the highest bidder. He's oh, not a char- he's not a character guy. He's not here to help you win. He's here to serve himself. Why do play why do coaches sign those guys? Because they only want to win. They're only worried about winning. They're not worried about teaching guys the character or just I don't know, man. How many Bo Nicks played six years in college? Yeah. He went to what yeah. Auburn, Oregon, where else? he was somewhere else too. Yeah, three who's the, dude I, who's the dude I saw this weekend? He said seven years. Is he, he's on his seven years. Nine. McCormick. Nine? McCormick yeah. from Miami. McCormick, Miami. You know, Oregon first, bit, Rasheen. Oregon, yes. now he's at Miami. Yep. Nine years in college. Yes. Mark, but he's had four Most seasons. Those relationships don't surgery. last that long. He's had – He look at, look at Sizzle. He's what? had – Hey. Four. Oh. <laughs> Did you see him shaking the can? I thought he had a can of cheese. He Seriously. The can. What did you I think I was doing? I thought you were shaking a can of palm cheese getting out of there. I know you You don't shake a liquid. What is he doing? Now, my man is trying to get every last drop. Uh, uh, love, this man taught about. I love a Jesus. 
Oh, Shane, we got to get hey, better. We got to get a better team. This guy's crazy. Nine years. How many teams was he on in nine years? He's only a second Dude. team. He's only a second team. He got hurt a uh, lot at Oregon. He's had four season ending surgeries. He started there in 2016. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? He's 26 years old, isn't he? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so was crazy. Chris Wenke when he came out. Yeah. Is that the dude yeah, from yeah. Hawaii? Wait, what's yeah. the guy Wanky from Hawaii? Play, Wanky played baseball Taylor? first, though. Yeah, he did. The guy from Hawaii. He has two kids and three yes. mortgages or some shit. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Taylor, yeah. linebacker. Hey, yeah. Tubbs, really? Adam Gunn. Adam Gunn played six years. And that was before COVID. Yeah. 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 Adam Gunn did. Hey, what's the other boy from Apollo? Uh uh, come on. Trey Tipton. Tipton. He played Tipton. six years. Yeah. That was before COVID. Tipton, yeah. Yeah. You know, it was. I mean, there's yeah. kids who come through for six years because they have major injury, but Good God, nine yeah. years? Yeah, I Six I years know. was the best time of my life in high school. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's – she's a low. Man, well, so let me ask you guys this. Hey, he, got, he graduated with 75 people. He went to Leechburg High School in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Sizzle, yeah. you, went, or you went to Leechburg? I transferred. They, I was highly recruited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is the accountant? You were how they said, the they said, they said, hey, oh, hey, they hey, they said, they're like, hey, we need a clarinet player for the band. <laughs> no, bro. I ain't piped. No, I, I they said, you, you shotgun that song, but like, you come on over to Leechburg. So, Jeez. Well, let me ask you this, fellas, real quick. Is we're, is we're talking about this. Did any player, not team, player impress you this week? Hunter, any yeah, that kid had six player? touchdowns. He had like 300. 300 yards and six touchdowns. That boy can run. He runs like the wind. What, what, what school? Who? Where? Did you all treat? Wait. What the Boise, Boise. Ashton Gentry. Oh, yeah. No. Hell with yep. No. Well, hold Boise. on, Sheen. That's what I Georgia thought. Southern. H hold on, Sheen. I thought that. But this cat averaged over six yards a carry last year in Rams. Yes. 1300. And what league are they in? Hold on. Hold on. All he can do is play guys against it in front of him. Yeah, 1,300 no. yards, fellas. Come on, man. You got to talk to the guy yeah. there, right there. 1,300 yards is impressive. So could no. Andre Weir. Andre Weir, he, he, he threw for a lot of yards, too. Big dog. And it, well, let's not forget, if we're going to keep it 100, there's a whole – that goes back to NFL execs missing on players all the time. My guy was to Terry o. McMillan because it was, that, it was between – Ashton Genty, if I'm pronouncing the name wrong or correct, yeah. and to Tor McMillan from Arizona. 304 oh. yards, four yeah. TDs. He's 6'5", 215, and can move, and can move. So, now, here's the thing. Put your, get your popcorn ready. October 19th, Arizona versus Colorado in Arizona. It is going to be him – and Justin Hunter, not Hunter, yeah, or Hunter. Travis What's Hunter? Hunter. Travis, Travis Hunter, one on one. Okay, I think he's going to smoke Hunter. I yeah, think he's going to smoke. Think again. Hunter cannot go both ways against this cat. He can't. Okay, okay. you you see so you're 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 not you're, we're we're not vibing on this one, Gene. You got Hunter shutting him down. Listen, you uh, listen. Yeah, I do. Okay. Don't forget, old boy, last year, the decent receiver he went from against Sanford had 300 yards in the second half. True freshman, Tops, baby. Tops. But, though, is that just him or is that the scheme? Is that the whole defense? You're, you're, is it just man, mano y mano? Like, what, what's you're talking about Travis Hunter? Yeah. Hunter, you are the, you're suppo Hunter, you were supposed to be a first-round pick. Mick he is Miller, a first-round pick. Ooh, stop okay. that. He's going to be a first-round okay. pick. Okay, T-Mac. You're a first man pick. You're going to be going against guys like T Mac every week. The best they have to offer. I mean, I if you're that guy, I want to do like the Cowboys used to do with Dion. All you loving guys over here, I'm over here. Quarterbacks don't even throw to this side. That's I called, want to see if you can be a shutdown corner. Are you that's reading? Called, that's called traveling. You the, travel. That means you go wherever the best guy goes. Look, look here. Well, D, D, look here. You mean like LeBron? He travels every time he touches yeah. the ball. Yeah. Look here. Greg Bishop he, says Marquez Cooper at San Diego State. Marquez know. Cooper. I don't know what he. What did he do? He, he had. He had like. Uh, Bish, Bish, give us the, the lowdown, Bish. He had. He had like twenty carries, two hundred yeah. yards, two touchdowns, okay. something like that. He's true freshman. He's from Quince Orchard in Montgomery yeah. County, Maryland. 
I'll tell you right now. Oh, so he's, he's in a little bit of home Rutgers cooking there. A little bit of home started, cooking. He, that was that was a transfer. He was at a, a lower lower tier Division One school. Oh, he, I he, got you. He, he I got up. you. Okay, good for him. Uh, yeah. You guys buying this Shador Sanders? Four hundred forty-five yards. No. Wow. I'm not Four, down with Shador. Four hundred forty-five no. yards. I felt, well, here's the thing. It's crazy. I'm, and I, I told he's you, pass, I, he's pass oriented. He he don't he don't leave that hold pocket. On. Hold on. And, and I wish I wish I could be a Shador guy, but I'm not. Here's why. Here's why. This is crazy. Last year, hold, just give me half. Just ride with me, Shane. I'm listening. You know just ride with me. Hey, listen, I don't have the sound machine hooked up. So go just ahead. Just ride with me, baby. Just you know ride we with got me. 15 minutes. Go ahead. I'm not I'm not a Sheen guy. Sheen guy. I'm not a Shador oh, guy. Oh, okay. Oh, Here's why. Here's why. <laughs> Last year, he played in the Pac-12. You know, you guys already know. I don't believe there's defense in the Pac-12. So, I don't anybody can go. However, know. his guys. You mean the Big 12? Uh, what do you do? For 460? His wideouts were better than the DBs he was going against. He holds the ball a lot. He holds the ball a lot, and he also underthrew his guys a lot. And I put that in our text thread. What is that, fellas? Three or four underthrown passes he yeah. threw? Yep. He's held the ball a little long. I'm just not a Shador guy. Now, they got some good teams coming up. If he can show me that against some good teams, then okay. But, fellas, let's also not forget – his defense is horrible. They're always coming from behind, so he has to throw regardless. You know what I mean? But, hey, we'll see. We, okay. You think okay. he's all that, Sheen? I don't. We can't both be right. You know what I mean? So we'll see. But tell me why I'm wrong, Sheen. I'll let you boy. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I mean, that's, that's your opinion. Tell um, me why you, you feel differently, though. I think he has all the tools. I mean, sometimes he's throwing off his back foot and it's still there. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't understand. Here, here's my this. thing. I believe when you're D1 and you're at that level, off your back foot, you should still be able to throw it relatively accurately at 40 yards. You're okay. you're that strong. You're just that whatever. I, I don't I think do. Drew Alar from Penn State can, but okay. But, and maybe he maybe he isn't, but I but also on the same token, and maybe he's not. But not everybody. I feel you should. Maybe there are some guys that can't, but I but I feel you should. But we'll see. I don't see those frozen ropes as they used to call them back in the day. Him being able to throw, maybe he can. I oh, have. Let me tell you. Okay, so listen. I'm gonna Go give y'all my theory. Go ahead. Black folks, we can throw the ball. It might not be accurate, but we can definitely throw it far and definitely throw it hard. Yeah. That's a fact. You remember Michael Vick? Michael Vick could a flick at a wrist. It was going 70 yards. But There's here's the three thing. things you should be able to do: throw, catch, and run. And run. There well, you hold go. on, though. If you, did can't, co- you go to Notre Dame. Did- would the coach <laughs> Boone say not, we're on the line? What the hell are you talking about? If not, but, you're on the line. But look here. Would the coach <laughs> Coon, what would the coach Boone say to your boy Sunshine? You can throw you can throw it a mob, but you can't pitch it three yards. I understand yeah. they can throw it forever, but you gotta be accurate. You gotta be accurate. That's why I didn't want your boy not to get into it. That's why I didn't want Field starting because he's he's not being developed as a QB, he's developed as a running back that can pass. They're not developing developing more. No, I'm no. I forget about the race. So we have fields in Pittsburgh. I don't want him. I, I don't. I don't see him develop. We'll see. Sheen. He's a hell of an athlete, but we will see. And I here's what I don't get. I don't think and he's a hell of an athlete. To be honest with you, here, here's, but I do look at it. Shador, neither on his offensive line or his defensive line, Dion can't get the six five three twenty O lineman. That defense, he doesn't, he can't get those guys. You've got guys that on your staff, whether it's the D coordinator, Okener, different position coaches, they've been at the next level. Dion's guys, if they had to the, the, the talent, he'll get you to the next level. I don't understand why he can't get any of the the, the bit hogs as they used to call them up front. That's what I'm kids, He had two deep, he had two linemen from IMG early commit that turned and went somewhere else. Now, I wonder, do you think he decides I'm not paying any? I was going to say that. I was going to, I was going to say that. I was yeah. going to ask, is that it? He refused to pay. You know, those Colorado boosters have the money. If he wanted to pay, they'll ante up. Hey, hey we got to move on. We that. only got like freaking 11 minutes left. Yeah, but, let's, even... yeah, but it's been a good conversation. So we don't get to all the topics. We don't get to all the topics. What you got, yeah. Barber? Hey, let's get into the NFL a little bit. Excluding the Steelers, what team or game are you interested in checking out coming up? I want to. I think the first game is going to be dynamic with with the Ravens yeah. and Kansas City. I, I think that's going to be a great game because everybody's healthy. 
Everybody's healthy going into that game. Well, except for Marquise yeah. Brown, and I don't know what part he's going to play on that team. I know Rishi Rice is going to be there. They said they're not doing anything with him until his shit outside of the team. Everything is settled in court. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decide yeah. what they're going to do with, yeah. the, do with him. And that was, besides Kelsey, that was Mahomes' go-to guy. I do like Xavier Worthy, too, who can yeah. run the long yeah. ball. You know what, though, Barbara, if we're going to keep it a buck and keep it 100, does it matter? And I'm being serious. Does it matter who Mahomes has as his no. wife? I thought they were going to suffer when they lost Hill. I really did. No, the like, same thing with this. Patriots, Chops. I agree with you. Same thing with Patriots. It's a quarterback. He's going to make them – he's going to make them uh, – do what they do and he's going to make uh the team better just because that's who he is i'm looking forward to sao paulo brazil the eagles versus the pack the pack the that's pack. gonna be a great game don't wear your green because that's the gang colors is what they that's say they say there. that's what they but say i think that's gonna be a great game jordan love see what he's got against jalen hurts and hey, i know chops is a he's a big he hates the saying that quarterback versus yes, quarterback. Yes, you know I do. Blah, blah, blah. I hate it's that. Be a great that's, game. that's a week one game? Yeah. It's going to be a great game. Yes. Friday night. Do you realize Thursday and Friday night's games are on Peacock? Yeah. They're not even on right. That's Peacock. I want to see your Peacock. Yep. Hey, that's why if, peacock. if you want to buy the NFL peacock. ticket, and I went off on a rage the other day about this. If you want to buy – if you want to be able to watch every NFL game this season, it costs you over $700. That's ridiculous. That yeah, is it's ridiculous. insane. That's hey, ridiculous. You know what other game I want to watch? I want to see Caleb Williams. I the Bears. See, yeah, I want to I see did. my Steelers. See, we said other than the Steelers, Gene. Other than the Steelers, we all know that. Hey, you know, so wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. <laughs> back to the uh, the the um, the uh, games. Do you have internet? Oh, you got to have internet, Meredith. Yeah you, yeah. you need to get with your boy. Chops? You know yeah. You talking about Apollo Sheen? What you talking about? No, so he can watch the games. Yeah, we'll, I, I we'll yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, if I if I if I didn't have an inside tip on how to get the games, yeah, and it's I wanted ridiculous. to buy the games, it's it insane is. that the NFL yeah. is yeah. robbing people. Then, wait, like, no. timeout, rewind. You said you want to see Caleb Williams, but the Bears versus the Titans, that game's gonna suck. But I, Oof. we're we're not looking at individual players. Is that what you're saying? He, she, you guys know Sheen. Y'all know him better than me. Y'all know him longer than me. He dances to the beat of his different drum, meaning he don't listen. We said we did any game other than Steelers. You know we all want to see our Steelers. Who's the first one Sheen said? Steelers. <laughs> he, he, he hates following directions. He hates it. Hard-headed. Hard-headed. Hey, Dallas and Cleveland. You want to see that Yeah. One? Yeah, Why? that's going to be a good one. Because they say Cleveland's the best defense in the league. That's all we hear about. How great those fucking oh, guys are. Oh, that's a great game. I think they're good. Hey, See, how about the, I, I, I think the Jets and the Niners game, right? That's me. What, I'm booking. I would have seen a good one, too. But yeah, 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 they have the best defense one. and supposedly one of the most dynamic offenses in the league. You know what, they just you, signed Ayuk to a mega, mega deal. And so what are they going to bring out? What was I watching, fellas? I like both of those games. Yeah. 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 I was watching yeah. Get Up. And somebody showed like the last four major holdouts, how after they end up getting paid, they had a worse season that season. They got paid than a couple seasons before. Ayuk is not going to do much. He's not going to practice much. No. So we ain't going to do much. It's the same offense, but no. still timing isn't going to be there. have to do some because Ricky no. Kershaw is going to be in the hospital for a minute. Yeah. God bless. He just, he just got out. Kershaw just got shot. Kershaw, yeah. yeah. And he said he got shot in the chest. I need to see what kind of – was it a flesh wound? You got shot in the chest, and you are, you out of the hospital twenty four hours. I think he had a Nerf gun or a BB this gun. Larry <laughs> walking around with BB guns. BB Man, gun. let me ask you. Now, see, mine. It was, I do want to see. Like I said, mine's a bookends game, and I was going the Chiefs and the Ravens just to see where the Ravens are. You know, in their, their division, the Chiefs with that, whatever. But I do. I'm bookending it with the Jets and the Niners. Yeah. Niners offense, we know is going to roll. It's going to be efficient. They're going to be. They're home. They're going to do their thing. We've heard so much about the Jets' defense. Can they live up to the hype? Can Rodgers live up to the hype? You know what that's I mean? This is Rodgers has been hit in two years, fellas. I want to see him in live action. I'm ready, Freddie, for this. How about these think, two dudes? How I took about the Jets Anthony defense Richardson in and CJ Stroud? They play each other week one. Who's that? Uh, Anthony Richardson Anthony Richards. and oh. CJ Stroud. Yeah. That's a division game week one. 
right? I like Ooh. the one you said first, Mark. I like cow. I like Cowboys Browns. I like yeah. that. that. That's gonna be a punch in the mouth. That, that is. That's gonna tell you honestly. That's gonna tell you if Cleveland's really as good as they are because the Cowboys pretty much return everything they had. They signed C.D. Lamb, although right now he's listed as questionable or potentially out for that game, but I, I'll bet he and, plays. And I like the Frisco one y'all said. That's going to be a punch in the mouth. So it's real quick, because I know time's limited, so if we can keep each answer real quick okay. to a minute or whatever. C.D. Lamb and I both got paid, okay? Right. yeah. They are both now in the top five receivers. Highest grossing, highest paid. Yeah. Not one of the top five receivers. That's a little well Tariq did. However, he got his money at Miami. None of the top highest paid receivers have helped their teams get a ring. They have not helped their team get a ring. They're getting playoffs, getting booted, losing first yeah. round, whatever have you. Put on your owner's hat, your owner's hat. Are you signing the checks for these guys? If yes, why? If no, why? Okay, yeah. let me go first. Yeah. I'm signing the check, and I'm going to tell you why. Look at the growth in the salary cap over the course of the last, say, five years. Okay? That contract in two, maybe, yeah, maybe like two years from now is going to be just an average contract, honestly. I mean, that, that's because the NFL is a copycat league. When you give Jordan Love and, Ter and Lauren, Trevor Lawrence that money because, well, we're, you're up, so we're just going to pay you more. Jordan Love has had, a, what, 12, 11, 13 starts? No, Mikey, yeah, the NFL is a copycat league, though. Mikey, that's you're missing my point. The salary cap is going to be so high that those contracts are not going to be that much of a significance against those against the salary cap. And that's why I'm okay with signing that signing that deal. Okay, so maybe this year, maybe next year it's going to take a hit. But it went up 20 million last year, 25 million from last so year you're, to this you're year. Paying, so you're paying a guy because the cap is higher, all the contracts are going up, but we're we're here to win championships. You're not helping me do that. Why am I paying you again? Reiterate why I'm helping you, why I'm paying you again. Because this is the NFL. In college, I can get you with we play on national we play on national TV every TV every week. In college, I can get you with you'll have a chance to go to a major bowl game. In college, I can get you with you might be in hometown and your fan, family and friends will get to see. In college, I can get you with there's a chance I can get you to the NFL. And okay. the NFL, it's all about rings. If you're okay. not going to do that, so at the end of the day, at the end of the day. I see your point with C.D. Lamb. I don't see your point with Ayuk because guess what? San Francisco was in the Super Bowl last year, the year before they were in the NFC Championship. So he's at least getting them to that point. No, it because a, when it you took 11 dudes to get you over the top. So that's a different conversation because you, because you, you guys know I'm already about football's the most team sport. So yeah, there's no. So, but real quick, if I go? ask you, if I ask you real quick, if I ask you. Name me your San Francisco MVPs on offense. Ayuk's not your first, second, or third pick. No. No, but the thing is, it's about team. And I agree with you. I would not pay him because it's about team, but he brings a team element to it. And having that rounded roundabout team with him, it helps. But I, would I pay him as the owner? First of all, let me back up. I apologize. I had to deal with something that was called my bladder. But no, I would not pay him because – you can win without the big bucks. Look at the Patriots. They how many again? I'm gonna go back to them because how many top-notch receivers did they have that they just went out and spent gajillion dollars with? Is Maybe Tom Randy Brady Moss, the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. Randy Moss is probably the only one yes. Uh, yes. that you know of. Uh, you can name all the other guys that were slot receivers that, that just grinded it out, but they did not put in so much money that they were taken away from others. 13-10, USC over LSU, halfway through the third. Okay, all right. What about you, Sheen? Are you paying it? Uh, oof, yes. We're talking CD, right? Or are you? It doesn't matter, whomever. Well, none of the guys you got to pay CD because your next receiver is Brandon Cooks and Trey. Or I don't even even with him, we're getting kicked. We're getting, our, we're getting beat. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that's that's going to happen because listen, when you got Brandon Cooks on the other side, you can put two people on CD Lamb. Fellas, I just I just don't get it, and I say that because I'm all about NFL is about championships. The Cowboys have not even sniffed a championship or a Super Bowl in decade in decades, 
and they are the most valuable franchise. Do you realize the Steelers aren't even in the top 10 and they travel and their fans go everywhere? They try to do it right, this, that, and the third. Non-losing season. Tomlin's always got them in the playoffs. And they ain't worth two dead flies. To me, it's all about I, – I, I just mean – I don't get it, man. I just The Bengals are a valuable franchise. They haven't won a ring. I don't get it, man. I, I don't know. The thing I, is, you the thing is, you want that guy. You 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 want the the high the high uh, draft pick. You want you want somebody who's getting you the recognition and all that. You want you want the celebrity receivers and, and all that. But you're not going to get it. And it's not about that. It's about the team. Not it anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Just like college, it's not about the team. Hey, let's do some pickups then. Top five games, KC and the Ravens. Who you got? I want KC. They're at home. I'm going KC. KC yeah. at home. I got Ravens. Shane, Ravens. You got the Ravens? I'm going KC too. Chops, get the uh, – sis, write these down. Oh, shit. You want me to write something? Yeah. Me, you, and Chops got the KC. I got Shane, you. the one who's a Ravens fan. Remember, he hates – But let, just keep in mind, he doesn't like T.J. Watt. All right, let's go. Second game. Titans Bears. <laughs> Does Caleb Williams win his opening game in the NFL? Titans yes, Bears. but I think it'll be a snooze fest. Uh, Williams wins. Who? Williams. He's saying Bears. Okay. Yeah, Bears. I'm going with the Bears too. I'm going Titans. I think Will Levis gets the best of them. He don't like Caleb Williams, y'all. It doesn't matter if I like him or not. I still think that <laughs> Levis is better. Oh, I don't think either one. I'm. I. It doesn't matter to me, but you know. I think that year under his belt is going to help him. He's a big dude, man. Who you got, says? I said Bears. I'm writing it down. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next game: Houston Indy. Anthony Richardson or C.J. Straub? Houston. 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 Yeah. Yeah. On the road, I'm going Houston. Yep. Number four. Here's, the, here's the big one. Dallas, Cleveland. Mm. Where is it? It's in Dallas. It's Cleveland. It's Cleveland. I'm going to go game, but in Cleveland. I'm, I'm going, going I'm going to go Cleveland. I hate to say that. I hate it. I'm going Dallas. I'm, I'm going to go Dallas. Cleveland. So we're all going Dallas except for Chops. Yeah, I'm going Cleveland. Hate to say it. Hate that. Mistake by the lake. The old turd. You brown. know, Nick Chubb doesn't run the ball for them, right? It's Jerome Ford. Mm-hmm. Jerome Ford ain't Nick Chubb, my man. I know. But it doesn't matter because even when Stefan, Stefanski had Chubb, they showed us that the Browns were 15 and 1 when Chubb had 20 carries or more, and still Stefanski wouldn't run him 20 times every game. I'm going to run you until the wheels fall off. Sean, All right, what's the last one or our fifth one? Number five. Number five is Steelers, Atlanta. Steelers. I'm going Atlanta, dog. Our line is so porous. They're not going to be able the, 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 it's going to be a replay of last year's San Diego or San Diego, San Fran against our Steelers. The offense is going to be on the field, three and out, three and out. The defense is going to get tired. San Fran, or should I say this, Atlanta is going to end up pulling away. The offensive line's terrible. They're garbage. Steelers. I'm going Ravens. Barber. Or Falcons, I'm sorry. And Barber? it hurts me to say that. What you got, Barb? I got Steelers. I got okay. Steelers. Uh, you know, we talked about this all week. On the, we Kirk talked Cousins about this. hasn't played football in how long? We talked about this all week on the uh, the group chat. Oppositional defiant uh, chops. He's going with Atlanta and Cleveland. Uh, everyone's got Houston. Mark, you're going with the tit- uh, Barbara's going with the Titans versus the Bears, and Sheen, you got Ravens over Kansas City. That's yeah. here's, here's the sizzles quizzle. We got to get this rolling. When was the last time, or actually, how many games have the Georgia Bulldogs won in a row? Oh, Ma. 44. <clears throat> no, that's total, 43 and 2. But I think in a row, oh, I think right. it's like 29. Wow. I'm I've been thinking at, about you. I'm looking, I'm looking at 40. The last time they lost uh, was 2020. LSU just scored an easy out. No, they couldn't have, man, because they didn't even – well, they did go in the field. No, didn't they lose the game last year? They won uh, 40 games in a row. Ah. Hey. Go Kirby ahead. is smart, isn't he? What, what, do you, what do you got for a Shane for the question? What are you making us think about there? 
Rage Against the Machine. I don't know if I have anything because I'm ready to go bake some cookies. Oh, here he goes. He's been on that la la. You want to know my favorite kind of cookie? Yes. Is that what you want to know? Definitely. Chocolate chips with walnuts. Dude, Ooh, they dude, lost I'm to they so just you're lost off tomorrow, right? Alabama last year. Though. You realize they lost to Alabama last year, Georgia. Yes. So how's that 40 games in a row? Regular Sizzle. season? Yeah. Sizzle's I didn't hear regular season. I didn't hear regular season. Regular season. Oh, okay. Sizzle's right. quizzle has a bizzle in it. A hey. whizzle, dizzle, jizzle, yeah, whizzle. Yeah, I mean, a whizzle, whizzle in your – Sizzle, what's your favorite cookie? Hurry up. I've, I've been thinking about uh, that, and – um. I'm going to go with the old uh, Italiano Pitzels, my man. Ooh, oh, my that's God. A, oh, my that's strong pool. I grew up what? in an Italian neighborhood, and a Pitzel is your favorite? Yeah, what you mean? First, first of all, it's called Pizzel. Let's get that straight. No. Thank you, it's a Pitzel, isn't it? Isn't it a Pitzel? Pitzel. Pitzel. And those, and ho, 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 chops. Those are delicious. Hey, easy, Franco. It's Pitzel. First off, go, first off okay. <laughs> <laughs> is your dad watch this? <laughs> Chops, yeah. I need your dad to watch this. He'll turn off if he hears. He'll turn off as soon as he hears the shenanigans that Sheena's talking about. And first off, pit sales aren't even better than biscotti. It's a pit It's a pit sale. It's a pit sale, and they're not even better than biscotti. I'll take a biscotti. It's biscotti. Sec Chops, you're the only one who's not Italian here. What do you mean? Oh. Biscotti, man, listen to me. And the best cookie is a snickerdoodle overall. What? A oh, biscotti is like a, it's 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 like a, ho, 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 ho. You know who makes a good, uh, is that a snicker, no, sugar cookie? Pot oh, bellies. Sugar cookie. Who? Pot bellies makes the best sugar cookie Pot ever. Bellies. Oh my God. It's not as like an Italian. Hey, who talking? Don't even light the weed. Just eat it. Because it's the answer you're giving, you might as well be smoking. It says a he said the biscotti's a crouton. What the hell? <laughs> you just did it. Oh, dip it. No, I don't drink coffee, but a little hot chocolate. Ooh, what the yeah. hell? Can we end this? Because this is terrible. Right, go ahead. Let's, see. Let's start with you. Tell them where they can find you. Everywhere, man. He just ain't never lied. Y'all can hey. find me in the command center. Wait till my camera works and y'all get to see the command center. Yeah, tell me where they can find you, Sheen. They don't know. Everywhere. Instagram, Instagram. Facebook. Machine what Hill. are they looking for? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Everywhere. Like, like they go. know how to spell. So they'll just go to TikTok and type in Rasheen. They'll yeah. just go to Facebook. They'll hey. just go to Instant. Just type in Rasheen. You know another Rasheen oh. Chops? Go. Next person. And it, oh, you, know, you know where you can find me? Oh, oh, anywhere go. my glass is empty. On the X, you can, you know, you boy, you on the X, you can find me at the real big chops, Facebook by my government, Michael Gregory Mills, Insta, big, big chop 79, and on That's TikTok, it's big chops 824. Holla at your boy. Hey, six. give it a buck, too. Uh, one, one T Youngie at the X and Instagram. That's All it. Right. Just hey, find me. Sports Podcast. You can find us everywhere. You can find us on podpage.com, Original Sports Podcast with Mark Meriday. On Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, we are Original Sports Podcast. And we are OSP with MM on other places that you can't find us. Hey, look. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Man, there are so many places I can't even remember anymore. Hey, uh, <clears throat> shout out to our networks, sidelinesports.net. SidelineSportsNet.com, uh, Elite Sports and Entertainment Network. You can find us at uh, Peak One Sports and on Manning Media. You can also catch us on Tuesday nights from 7 to 8. They upped our time because we were having some good stuff going on here. Um, on Roku, we are on N-E-S-S-P. -E uh, that's the name of the network we're on, and we are on from 7 to 8. Feel free to let us know if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for some craziness by emailing us at original sports podcast at gmail.com. Thanks to Steve Medley for doing our voice intro for Charlie Hodgson for doing our music and catch us next week. Who knows what our craziness will be actually next week. We have Bob Grove from the Pittsburgh Penguins coming on talking all things hockey with us. So y'all better be get Y'all better be ready for that. Okay. That's almost saying we're going to talk penguin hockey. Oh, one more thing.
Shout out to my guy, Johnny Gaudreau. I wore his T-shirt in honor of him today. That was um, rough, was, man. Yeah, that was, that was just brutal, man. Him life is brother. fragile, fellas. I know it's a cliche, but, man, life is fragile. Yeah. I mean, uh, and Johnny was a great guy. Not only does he have two little kids under the age of three, but his wife was also pregnant. He was 31 going on 32 no, Think old. about it. He was there for his sister's wedding. And yeah, a joyous occasion. The next both day. Brother, both brothers going like that. Now, if that's not going from sugar to shit, I don't know what is. And I mean, Johnny was a hell of a – hey, he was a hell of a hockey player. Yeah, man. Was, yeah. You know, he, was he, was my, a, he was my guy on the video game. Yeah. Johnny was – He was. Yeah. God bless Johnny. Rest in peace, my man. Catch us next week when we talk hockey.